guys welcome back to my channel today I'm coming to you with a get ready with me go to makeup look I already moisturized my face with the Bobbi Brown face moisturizer as well as my Rumble Stay matte primer I did my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in ebony and if you guys are interested in a brow tutorial please thumbs up this video and leave the comments down below and I will do that for you right now I am just mixing my makeup forever ultra HD foundation with my cover FX liquid foundation to get my perfect color and I'm going to apply this with my real techniques stippling brush So what I'm doing here is just evenly distributing the foundation all over my face and I'm also going to drag it down to my neck just so that there is a no line of demarcation and the makeup will look flawless. Then I'm going to buff out the foundation in circular motions all around my face as you guys can see here and then I'm going to speed it up just for time's sake. So now I'm going to take my LA Girl HD Pro Concealer and Espresso and I'm going to put this under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, the center of my forehead and on my chin. I'm going to blend this out with a beauty blender. A beauty blender is like my holy grail when it comes to concealers. I feel like it gives the most skin like finish and it blends my concealers the best. If you guys want a more in-depth video on highlight contouring and my foundation routine, please leave the comments down below and I'll be able to do that for you as well. Next, I'm going to take my NARS Creamy Concealer in Cacao and place this only under my eyes. And after I finish blending that out, I'm going to set it with my Ben Nye Clay Powder. When I tell you guys that this clay powder is like heaven sent, it's literally heaven sent. I cannot live without it. Like, I've tried other powders. I've tried the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I've tried the Banana Powder. And I just walk around looking... A little ashy and I don't know about you but I'm not trying to look ashy I want to look bomb not ashy so <laughs> what I do is I just always place this under my eyes and down the bridge of my nose and I also place this around my mouth because I get smile lines and whenever I set it with around my mouth what it does is prevent it from creasing the same way we set under our eyes to prevent it from creasing I set it around my mouth. So if you have a problem with smile lines, then use your setting powder of your choice. It doesn't have to be this one and place it around your mouth and it would decrease the creasing. And now we're at my favorite part, which is eyeshadows. I'm going to take my MAC Cosmetics Raisin Blush and place this in my crease just to warm it up a bit. And on top of that, I'm going to use the MAC Cosmetics Brown Script as well. And that is like a orangey brown. I just love those two colors together. It warms up the eyes just perfectly. I use this combo in my crease almost with every eye look. It's my go-to. Sometimes I just wear those two by itself with eyeliner and that's it. But today I felt like being a little fancy. So, yeah.
Next, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Vanity Palette and take the dark brown color and place that in my crease. I'm actually going to be using the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette for the rest of my eye. And I'm going to make sure that I leave frames there so you guys can see which colors I'm using at what point. And all I'm doing here is just taking my Sephora liquid eyeliner and hiding my lash band because, you know, they're a bit used out and they got a little bit of eyeshadow there. So I had to hide that. And then next, I'm going to take my Benefit Their Real Mascara and blend in my natural lashes with the falsies. And now I'm just setting my foundation with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. And then I'm going to bronze up my face with my Ebony Bronze Bronzer from CoverGirl. And this is basically my contour. I don't do cream contours or anything like that. This is what I use to contour. And then I use the same bronzer to contour my nose as well. And after I'm done bronzing, I use my Raisin Blush and then use my Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Sugar Daddy. I bought this about two to three weeks ago and I must say that I wear it almost every day since I bought it. I love it so, so much and I have to get all the other colors as well. And then I'm going to add my Bobbi Brown Highlighter in Bronze Glow. And guys, when I tell you that this highlighter is literally life, like people from space can see my highlight. And that's exactly how I love it to be. I don't know about you guys, but I love to glow. This highlighter does it for me and it looks so well on women of color. And I believe it's limited edition, so I have to run to Sephora to make sure I rack up on them. So right now I'm just lining my lips with my NYX Cosmetics Lip Liner in brown. And then on my lips I'm going to add my MAC Cosmetics Pink Plaid Lipstick. And on top of that I'm going to use the NYX Cosmetics Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. I don't know if that's the way you pronounce it but I'm going to make sure that I leave the name down below. Just to see if you guys can see, find it in your local beauty supply store.
and this is the final look thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon don't forget to like comment and subscribe and check the description box for all the information see you soon